in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. What we're whipping in the pots and we're serving great dishes. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. Yeah, it's mama in the kitchen whipping up the dishes. You already know. Knock it off. I'm not it. I'm not a rapper. No. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of My not in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Make sure you like, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified and leave your comment down below. So, Mama, what are we cooking today? Today we cooking preschool tater tot casserole. Oh, wow. I remember this. I used to love this. Did y'all remember eating this as a kid? That's so crazy. Well, I'm, I'm so excited. Like what, Mama? But what do you call a chubby kid sitting in the sun? Now, here we go. Now, you better not say it was me because you already know I was skinny enough to have behind stop signs. Period. No. What? A tater tot. <laughs> okay, so y'all, let me tell y'all everything I got. I already diced up. I say this is about one fourth a cup of an onion. Uh, then I have my ground beef, just one pound of ground beef. Then over here I have my seasonings, my parsley flakes, garlic powder, complete pepper, and onion powder. Mom, what you got? Well, over on my side over here, I have a bag of tater tots, frozen of course. I have a can of cream of mushroom soup. I have some cheese slices. I have a, ca a glass casserole dish. You're going to need a casserole dish to bake it in. And you're going to need a pan sheet to, um, to bake your tater tots. So while Miss Alexis is frying the ground meat for the tater tot casserole, I'm going to put the, potato, the, the, the tater tots in the oven and let them bake up nice and crisp. Okay, so y'all, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my oven on. I'm gonna turn my oven in between four and five, so kind of like medium heat. And then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cook down my onions first. And then once my onions are cooked down a little bit, the flavor them released in them, I'm gonna add my ground beef. Mama, what you doing? I'm gonna cut open my uh, bag of tater tots, and then I'm gonna pour them on my baking pan. Oh, they potato round. Oh, I didn't know they were circles. These are like like breakfast potato tots. Yeah. Like the ones you get uh, at Jack and Ways and Chicken. No, it's, it's uh, Burger King. It's Burger King. Now, that's a shame. We know that. <laughs> that's okay, a shame. And you just oven. spread them out just a little bit, y'all. Yep, spread them out. Put them in the oven. What's your oven on? My oven's on 450. Cause whatever the back of the package of the tater tots say, that's what you put them on. And let's see how. Probably about 15, 20 minutes. Also, I'm going to take my can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to open it. I got a saucepan. I'm going to put my cream of mushroom soup to one can of milk. So one can of cream of mushroom to one can of milk. And we're going to cook that down. Put my heat on five so it won't scorch at the bottom. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I know I got to put onions in everything. So just like that, and we're going to, she just added her cream of mushroom. And now, a, a lot of people don't do this. Some people use a measuring cup. What I have learned how to do it is just to use the can, get yeah. the access you out the can. can. And then you get all your little grit. Yup, crevices out the can as well. So you ain't wasting nothing. We'll waste nothing around here, buddy. I even get a spoon and scrape. Scrape my remnants. <laughs> That's how I was taught. A lot of people know how to do that, especially when you bake like pasta, mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like uh with pasta sauce. Y'all know you pour your sauce in your uh your your pot, uh, then you fill it like half up with water or something like that. No, I y'all know. If you don't know, guess what? They don't know what they learn today. They learn the depth. So we're gonna let our onions cook down, and she gonna let um what's it called? My cream of mushroom soup. She gonna let her cream of mushroom soup cook down, and we'll be right. Okay, so y'all already cut my ground beef open, and I'm going to add my ground beef to the pan. I'm going to add it to the pan just like that. Now, let me tell y'all something. Before y'all add y'all seasons, do not disappoint me. Let your meat cook down just a little bit so the seasons can really creep up in there. Like that. So it can really creep up in there. So wait, y'all. Let it cook down just a little bit, then add your seasoning. So how it's going to creep? Who's that creeping in the window? Well, while, I, while she over there creeping the window, I'm still over here just stirring my pot of um, the roast pig. 
So I have it down low so it won't stick everybody. And I set my timer for my tater tots at, at 13 minutes. And now we're about five, six minutes left into it. And then we're gonna flip them over so they can cook on the other side. And that's cooking them evenly. All right, you, you might gonna burn a little bit. down a little bit because you cooking on hell. Oh, oh wait, 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 I forgot I turned my skillet up. I turned my skillet up. I'm gonna turn it back down to what I originally had it on. Let the meat take its time. I found out the slower you let meat cook, the more tender it be. I'm gonna put you think. Slow cooking is the best cooking. Slow cooking is the best cooking. Cause you already know that I'm good looking. And when I come through the town, you already know what's gonna go down. Okay, slow cooking is what they call, I learned this in culinary school. Slow cooking is what they call at home. When you cook, you put everything from scratch. That's considered slow cooking. Compared to fast cooking, this is when you go out to fast food restaurants and they just throw your stuff together. Which quality tastes better? Slow cooking or fast cooking? You be the judge of that. You be the judge. Hashtag Judge Toller. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. So it's time to add to our seasons. The meat done cooked down a little bit. Can y'all see in the pan? Right here, the meat done cooked down a little bit. So it's time to add your seasons. You don't need a lot, y'all, because remember you adding that cream of mushroom. That was complete. Black pepper. A little bit of parsley for a little color. Right? I can't see that. You hold on, let me see. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Garlic powder, y'all. Oh, then a little bit of onion powder. Mama, that's your phone right here. All right here. Hold on, wait a minute. Cause you know when that honey bling. And we're gonna mix it and let it completely cook. Then we'll be back. Okay, see how the timer is going off for us to uh to uh take the tater tots out. What y'all did not know is that what we did was we put them on. How much time you put them on, Mama? I told you, 13, 15 minutes. Okay, put them put them on 15 minutes, and then we flipped them. Uh, then we put it on 15 more minutes. No, three. Oh, three more minutes. <laughs> y'all see that? Y'all, hey we got all our ingredients all complete and baked up. We got the tater tots all finished. We got the ground beef all finished. You can use ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey. You can use anything that you, any kind of ground meat that you like. And also my cream and mushroom soup is all ready. And then of course I got my handy dandy cheese slices. Mama, why are you using shredded cheese? Because I always use the the singles when I made it at at, at the preschool. So y'all use what y'all got. Don't go out and buy nothing. Use what you got. If you got shredded cheese, you can use shredded cheese. But I like to use the singles. Is that better, daughter? That's good. Okay. My hands are clean. I wash my hands. I'm just gonna take my tater tots. I sprayed my pan too with um, some cooking spray as well. So pretty much, you just take your tater tots. I hope I got enough tater tots. Ooh, ooh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough set of tops. We should have got that big bag. Yeah, we should have. I'm just gonna do a layer then, I guess. Supposed to, you're supposed to layer it up, but I don't have enough to layer it up. So I'm gonna do it like this. You need to spread your ground meat over you over your tater tots spread it evenly whatever your ground meat that you chose to cook what I got you scraping air? I gotta get to all of it she's scraping air and hopes and wishes out of there and like I said if you if you're doing a bigger batch with and you do a layer and you could just use like two or three cans of the cream of mushroom soup you just double triple your recipe and you just pour your cream of mushroom soup over your mixture like so over your mix Spread it all over. Oh, I haven't had this in so long. When last time you had some of this? Oh, I think I made it for you when you was like in high school. I'm like, for me? Yeah, that's how long ago it was. Oh, wow. No, I made it one time. 
epic fail, y'all made it one second. It was good to me, but Tony ain't like it. Okay, and then you're just going to take the rest of your little tater tots you have left over. Like I said, we should have got more, but that don't matter. More tater tots, because it would usually be full. We should have got the bigger bag. Should we go get a bigger bag? No. Nah. Okay. We're going to use what we got. That's all we got, so this is what we do. And then you're just going to lay your cheese. Lay your cheese. All right, so we're going to layer all the cheese, y'all, and then we'll be back to put it in the oven. Okay, when you finish layering your cheese, it will look like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you think you keep it on that same temperature? No, let me turn it down to 350 because my oven was on 450. So turn your oven down so to 350, Turn your, your oven down to 350. And let's set your timer. Well, you don't need such a timer because you're really pretty much just melting your cheese on top. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be all done, and kiddos can eat. All right, we'll be back so I can taste it. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's all ready. The cheese is melted on it, and it's time to taste it. See how gooey, ooey? And if it was more layers, it'd be double layer. More, a little bit more juicier. My test tube, baby, is going to tie that <laughs> test tube, baby. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. Mmm, nice. Ooh, it looks good. Mmm. Back up, smells back good. up. Mmm, I was going to snatch it. Mmm. My approved? Mmm, -hmm. My approved. Mama. Yeah, baby. We got a problem. What's the problem? The everybody film, they ain't liking, they ain't commenting, they ain't subscribing, they ain't even sharing the video so it can be a blessing to somebody else. They keeping the recipes all to they self. What? Now that's the coldest one. Okay, but what you gonna do about that though? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Mama, who are you calling? Ghostbusters. What is Ghostbusters gonna do? They gonna bust them up. <laughs>